being born without any sense of smell has led to some tricky experiences for little mix star Perry Edwards, but the condition also put her life in danger. The singer has revealed she was only diagnosed with the condition after a fire ripped through the kitchen of her South Shields childhood home, but she was completely unaware as she couldn't smell burning. Barry, who turns 31 next week, recalls, I couldn't smell it. Our kitchen had set on fire. I saw the black smoke come under the door. And then I started coughing because it takes your breath away. While the family escaped unharmed, the frightening incident concerned her mom enough to take her for tests. Doctors diagnosed her with congenital anosmia, a lack of the sense from birth, believed to affect 1 in 10,000 people. I had surgery, came out, had big tampons in my nose, recovered for a while. And then I swear to God I could smell coffee. I woke up and smelled the coffee. However it didn't last long and she soon found herself unable to smell anything. The doctors told her parents she would need to have the procedure again, but Perry decided against it. I was like, I'm not going through that again. I don't care. If I had it and lost it, fair enough. But I've never had it, so why care? Many people with no sense of smell also lose their interest in food, but that's never been an issue for Perry as she tells the Dish from Waitrose podcast she's a real foodie. On the struggles of staying fit on tour she says, it'll be like, I'm eating healthy, nobody talk to me, and then I'm like, five guys, what's going on? I literally, am a foodie and I do try to eat healthy. She also had a Come Dine With Me inspired YouTube series Eat In With Little Mix one of the many exciting projects she took on with bandmates Leanne Pinnock, Jade Thirlwall, Perry Edwards and Jesse Nelson during their impressive pop career. The group shot to fame after winning The X Factor in 2011 and went on to have a series of chart-topping songs including Black Magic and Shout Out To My Ex. However in 2021 they decided to take a break, with Perry admitting they put their foot down. Describing it as a gradual thing, she explains, I don't think it was like an overnight I'm gonna go solo now, because I never knew what I would do in my future. I just knew that little mix had me tired. We love each other and we're so supportive of each other and we just want to see each other win. So it wasn't like, do you know what? You're driving me nuts. I need a break. It was almost like I've done this for so long now. I was 17 when I was put in the band. That's all we ever knew in our lives was little mix. I was just so focused on being a mom as well. Just enjoying him and just doing what I loved, and then I started slowly but surely writing music, recording, and then it kind of just happened. But Perry admits the girls did worry they had made the wrong decision, taking to their WhatsApp group to tell each other they were bored. We were like, I'm bored. What are you up to today? And Lee and be like, I'm actually sick of this. And Jade's like, yeah, why did we push for this again? However they agreed they had to see it through, and it wasn't long until they all found exciting new projects to sink their teeth into. Perry has spent the last year and a half working on her debut solo album, which will be released later this year. Her debut solo single, Forget About Us, was released in April, followed by her second single Tears in June. Perry describes the solo songwriting process as like the fastest form of therapy ever. It'd be in there with these big songwriters and producers and think, oh, it'll just let you take the lead, and it'll just be like, ooh, yeah, that sounds good. 
And then as I started becoming more comfortable with the people I was in the room with, I'd walk in in the morning and be like, right, I wrote this down in my notes yesterday, what do you think of this as a concept? What do you think of this as a lyric? And then I started taking charge a bit more, which I'm not used to doing. And I just really enjoyed it. And if it was like a rubbish idea, it'd be like, alright, cool, like, next one. But she admits she was still extremely embarrassed when her ideas didn't work out, saying it would eat her alive. The big songwriters included Ed Sheeran Subtract who she wrote two tracks with, and Ray. I did a session with Ray, which I was buzzing about. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the same room being creative with Ray, like everything that comes out of her mouth is like incredible to me. While Perry's album is very much a solo project, she did get some vocal help from someone very special, her baby son Axel, who she shares with footballer Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. A recording of Axel's voice can he heard on of the songs, and Alex has also been on hand to support Perry through every stage of her solo journey. I think Alex probably knows my album more than I do. She laughs. Has so supportive. He knows everything like inside out. If a demo comes back and they've changed something, has like, where's the guitar gone? Where's that gone? And I'm like, wow. You can listen to Perry's full interview on the Dish from Waitrose podcast, which is out now.